All right, y'all, it's chicken dissection time. So I'm going to film me doing one of these for you. So what you hopefully have is something that looks like this, which is both the, um, like the drummy part that you're used to eating. You're used to eating like this separate from this. All right, but I hope that you have it all connected. All right. So first step is going to be to take all the skin off, which takes a while okay um it takes some skill frankly so um i am going to try to show you you want a nice sharp knife or even scissors possibly um and you do not i repeat you do not want to um, like cut any of the connective tissue you just want to remove the skin so what I like to do is to kind of get under the skin a little bit and then just slice right there, like right at that junction. And it kind of slides off really nice. So um, that's what we're looking for. Okay. And like I said, I don't want to slice any of these muscles, right? So you're trying to be really kind to this chicken. And if you do a really nice job, then you can just like fry it up for lunch. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Or give it back to somebody and um, make soup out of it. But um, important things to note is that chicken, um, I'm doing this in gloves just because I don't have to like scrub so well, but generally speaking, you definitely wanna make sure that you scrub your hands really well. Now, once you get in here, if you can see this, there's like this whitish situation that's kind of silvery right here. You wanna be really careful around here, okay? Because this is the joint that I'm actually trying to see function, right? So I don't want to cut any of that. That would be super sad, okay? And then I want to make sure that both sides are pretty well skinned. Okay, but some parts are less important to skin than others. Now, don't be sad if you're having a harder time than I am. Um, first of all, I've been dissecting for a really long time. And second of all, I cook a lot. So if you are not a cook and it's your first time dissecting, we're not gonna be sad about this, okay? Um, this is a skill. So we're gonna work on our skills, build our skills, and get just really good at it, okay? So be you a future surgeon or a future top chef or iron chef, okay? You wanna make sure that you're doing a pretty good job here. Now, what I want you to see is, um, I want you to be able to see all of these little muscles okay come right off and you don't want to cut any of the muscles themselves you do not want to cut the muscles just the skin okay and then i'm just getting really aggressive with it in college i had this professor that would literally come in and like just tear everything with his hands i was like wow so hardcore <laughs> i'm pretty close to that guy now <laughs> all right now here's what's really cool about this okay if I hold this like this, okay, I can make the chicken kick, <laughs> okay? Now, on the other side, whoop, easy, tiger. On the e other side, what's pretty cool is you can actually see, okay, these tendons slide through the joint. Now, I'm gonna clean this off a little bit more so you can actually see the tendon sliding through the joint. And remember, the difference between tendons and ligaments, okay, we say bobbly, which is like that fake pizza crust. So bone to bone is ligament bobbly, okay? And then um, tendon is muscle to bone. So now check this out. You can actually see this tendon slide through this joint Whoop, isn't that cool? 
that's what you're looking for. All right. So I'm going to hold this like this. Okay, I'm going to hold it like this. And you should be able to see how when I kick with this, it pulls the top. You see that? Woo! It's pretty cool. All right. Hopefully, you're able to get the similar results at home. Okay. Thank you.